Yeah, hey, welcome to RVT, everybody. This is RVT. Why she's video on Twitter, Junction RMJC, why she's video on Box Center. And why she's already coming on my social media, Google Plus, YouTube, and other social media platforms, including Instagram. That I still have. It ain't going nowhere. My shit ain't going out. Shit ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. Don't so must believe that shit. Not my social media. I'm glad you guys here, man, you know. Yeah, man, so I wanted to come on and shoot some shit. I got a oh man, I got stuff coming up, guys. I got animation coming up. Okay? And um I have um I had some fun things coming up about a weekend. Okay? I just wonder I'm that Jerry Lewis death took a it hit me, dude. It hit me because I'm realizing that I'm we don't I don't I don't have anybody here. I have no more role models really. You know? All my role models going that I grew up with. I'm forty seven but I think that's a little young to have something like this happen and for you to get older and have like people you look up to going. I think that forty seven years old is kinda too young for that to happen. So I know this is it, that it's a, a change going on now and I'm trying to deal with it. And Jerry Lewis death just hit me real hard guys. It did. Um so I, I couldn't really even now I'm having trouble of just broadcasting. Because it just hit me but I know at the same time I can't have you guys sitting around doing nothing, you know, like hey, I got, you know, I can't let RBT sit, guys, so. But, um, it just hit me. Having him die just hit me. You know, that I don't have anybody here. You know, I don't have anybody left for me to look up to. And, um, you know, to say you inspired me and stuff like that. And, and that, and that, and that, and that really touches me. But at the same time. Like I told y'all before my other video and shit, let's get real with shit. Let's get real with shit. I know Jerry Lewis saw RVT. He know he ain't have a lot of time left. Why he ain't get in contact with me just to have a conversation with me or whatever. You know what I mean? Remember my last video I said there's a lot of celebrities that's up in age. That know they don't have that much time left. So why won't they just, are they doing it? So if they pass, remember I, I told you guys that? So that's that's giving me power there. And it's well, Rashi, if Jerry wanted to uh, say something about whatever, he could have he could have did something before he but did he do it? No, he didn't do it. I, I, that's not selfish and all. Of course it's not selfish because I'm in the spotlight. And I should have really taken it to heart heart because I know he he I, he know I'm trying to start I'm starting a movement. He know what I'm about. He knew what he knew. I was trying to start a movie. He knew what I was about and all. And he knew that, you know, all, if you watch RBT, which I had worried, he did. So, I'm not going to take it hard because if he wanted to, he could have went to my Gmail. He didn't do it. So, I'm not going to really take it to heart, heart. But still, I'm feeling a type of way, a certain way, because I have nobody here as role models for myself. I mean, it's not being selfish. It's just, I don't have anybody here now. You know, all my people I, I really um, looked up to is gone. There ain't no damn way I'm looking up to this shit left, dude. There ain't no fucking way. No offense. But I'm not into the gorilla shit. That's not my thing. I'm not into that cool gorilla shit. So I'm not going to look up to these people that's left. I don't give a fuck how you take it. I really don't care. It's my mouth and I don't want to start no shit. You know, but that's just the way you feel about it. I'm pissed off and... A lot of emotions running through me, you know, and uh, it just, it's a shame, you know, that I didn't get to meet this guy before he passed. It's just, and I'll probably be, yes, I'm saying it, baby. I'll be saying it again about somebody else, probably saying I didn't get to meet her or him. And they got the opportunity to just say hi or whatever, and they ain't doing a fucking thing. So why should I take shit to heart, you know? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, you know, so.
But it's just a shame, that's all. It's just a shame, you know. I took his death kind of hard, you know. I took it. I took his death really hard because it's like, damn. Well, ain't nobody here now. Who we got here? You know, ain't nobody fucking here, man. So it was just, you know. Here we go, you know. Here we go with this fucking type shit. And I think 47 years old is way too early to experience something like this. Way too early. So I'm gonna come on the ear and just talk shit with, for a while with us, you know. We can just hang out and just do nothing really. Well, what is it, sweetheart? What is it? I've been sleeping a lot. I've been loafing. I've been doing some serious loafing, guys. It's just I'm not in the mood for any, um... I don't know about you guys. I don't know how the rest of the YouTubers feel about shit. But it's just, I'm not feeling shit. I'm just, I just don't want to do nothing, you know? I guess it's the, la the lazy days of summer. I just don't feel like doing, I, feel like I don't want to do anything. And um, it's like, you know, hey, man, that's just, I just don't feel like doing nothing, shit. So, that's just the way I feel about it. Can y'all guys hold on for a minute? Let me get things together here. Hold on for a minute. I just came over here. I ain't got shit together. I gotta, wait a minute. Babe, you go out in a few minutes. Not now. Just go out there and park it. I ain't having it. One second, dudes.
Okay, guys, I'm here. I know, let me see what time this is. The viewers are barking. I'm, and I'm not playing. You wait. Because I don't trust you. You wait. So she might start that shit. Yeah, just wait. Because I don't trust you, sweetie. I don't trust you. I love you, but I got a problem with trusting you. Just wait it out. But you know what I'm saying? It's like... I mean the taffy, so... Please forgive that. Um... Yeah. Everybody going through it, you know, and... I'm just not feeling doing anything right now. I think it's because it's summertime, the lazy days of summer. You know, I'm just not feeling shit, you know. One minute, I'm feeling like doing something. The next minute, I'm not. And the times I'm feeling, I'm going to be honest with you, the times I'm feeling like doing something, I'm feeling like, okay, I could do something now. I run into this nasty, um, perverted shit and start doing shit like that. I don't need to waste my, I'm wasting my energy doing perverted shit. We are, sweet. We wasting our energy doing this sick shit and I can wait, use it for finishing up this animation. And, it, you know, this is supposed to be for summertime and shit. You know, even though we still in shison and that's the reason why I'm slacking up so damn much. This is our relaxed um, time right here. And y'all know when the holiday season coming around, come around, RVT kick it with a lot of stuff. You know that. But right now it's shicing, so. Y'all know it's always sluggish and shit. Mm. Oh, to those two girls on social media, I appreciate that. You know, I appreciate that. Peace to you. Peace. I appreciate that. They know what I'm talking about. Because I like watching y'all videos. Y'all funny as hell. And I like watching you guys. I ain't want no shit like that. I ain't know no shit like that was going to pop off. Though. I didn't. I really didn't. I mean, I got a smart mouth and everything, but... That's part of who I am. I ain't mean nobody take it to heart. You know what I'm saying? So, but, but peace to y'all. And um, I'll keep watching if y'all keep uploading because y'all very watchable. I like watching y'all content. And I understand you with corporations and everything. You got your little corporations and everything. So, I understand. I just want to tell y'all two girls that. I just ain't, I ain't want shit to go in that direction that it went though. I really didn't. That's not that was not my intention. I'm not about that. I grew up around that ignorant ass shit and I ain't gonna fuck back there. So you know, I'm glad you know. Just I appreciate that. I do. Now go ahead getting on with the news. I'm just sorry about how what's in the news today. I'm just sorry about what's in the news. I really think he should really keep an eye on this um, people destroying this um, monument, some um, American monuments, or or um, what they call it, um, Confederate monuments. Because if they're not careful with that, they just stop somebody today, from what I understand, of trying to blow up one. I mean, this guy was trying to blow up one, dude. And they caught the guy or whatever. I didn't read the story, but I'm just giving you what the headlines read. And it looks like a white people's crystal knot is about to happen around here. I'm not going to say here and lie to you. I'm not going to try to sugarcoat shit for you. But that's the way it looks. And you got nobody standing up saying anything about it. And if you don't do that, you know, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. I'm hoping that it don't get worse. Hopefully, this will just die out. But if not, it looks like a white people's crystal knot about to get started around here. You know, 
And um, I would hate to go through some shit like that. I really would hate to go through that. But somebody should really do something about that or speak about that to stop it or whatever. Because we're going in a direction now, we're going to be sorry when we wake up in the morning time. And now I hate for that to happen. They're blowing up white people's uh, culture in the air, even though it's Confederate or whatever. It's still, you know, and it's never, this is historic. It's never been done before in history. Never been done before in history to go after just white culture's uh, statues and to fame and... It never, it's never been done before, so it now it's building up like it's normal. And if you're not careful, it's going to break out to a, a, a crystal knot sort of thing. So, crystal knot is when the Nazis went out and destroyed everything Jewish. They burned down the synagogues, they destroyed bookstores. The Nazis did that to Jews, and, and around the neighborhood, around the cities and stuff. And that's what, and it's starting, something, something is starting here in America. And nobody's saying anything. It's like, they sitting back waiting for somebody. Like, nobody, can't you see nobody going to show up, dude? If they was going to show up, they would have been showed up. I mean, nobody, do anybody care? Hello? Anybody care? Nobody, nobody home and shit. Well, I hate to wake up and see a white people's crystal knot all around this motherfucker. And it's a shame that we're going in this direction, but there ain't nobody doing nothing. Sitting on a lazy, if they got anybody fat and lazy in this country. Now they just destroying every fucking, ain't nobody going to say nothing. Ain't nobody going to say a fucking thing about nothing, dude. Nothing. So hopefully it'll blow over, you know. I don't want to get involved in that, deleting her social media. So I don't know what that is. I don't want to get involved in that. Don't put me in it. Don't put me in it. I don't want, I ain't got nothing to do with none of it. I don't know nothing about it. I don't, I don't care nothing, but I don't know nothing about it. That's her thing. That's her marketing thing, what she's doing, and that's it. We're a cult around here. We mind our business. But we speak about issues that we think matters. That's the far as we go around here. And y'all know it. Because they don't give a fuck about us. Rather we give them attention of what they um pursuing or doing. Even if we give them attention, they still don't give a fuck about people like us. They don't give a fuck about us, dude. Because we ain't monkey. You know, you got to be this, you got to have this kind of monk inside you to be somebody today. And we don't have that. So we don't look for us to give a damn about too much around here because we talk about shit that matters to us i don't want to come off being rude and all of that but that's just the way we go about things around here they don't give a fuck about us man they don't care they really don't give a shit about us not nobody like us and i ain't been no fucking monkey dude no fucking way dude mm -mm. i don't do the monkey thing I just don't do it. So, <sighs> I know people was wondering where I was. Y'all was wondering why she, why you not blowing? Well, it's a lot of stuff going on now, y'all. It's a lot of stuff, a lot of shit going on. There's a lot of shit going on, and I just want to stay clean. We want to stay clean from it, you know, because I mentioned people's names, my subscribers around RVT, and every time I do that, they go off and do some stupid shit, so I got to be careful. I got to... 
Wait till y'all see stuff so I could continue with stuff. But first, I got to let y'all see stuff first. You know what I mean? Everybody out to make everybody look bad. But the shit ain't happening over here. It's really not. I'm not rich, so... Girl. Look at this one. What's the... I don't know. I'm trying to read what the flavor of this is. I'm eating these taffies. And I'm oh, God. I think I want that for myself. I got some fun things coming up, guys. Don't worry about that. And the important thing is, I know, the important thing is that, um, that I'm here talking now. Well, she didn't go nowhere, guys. I'm just staying low-key, that's all. I'm just staying low-key because there's a lot of, there's a lot of things going on. And you know what I mean, guys? There's a lot of things happening here, and... This is not the time to have a big fucking mouth. You know what I'm saying? This is not the time, man. Last thing I need is for somebody to say, Rashid taking all the spotlight. Not right now. I don't need that shit because I'm afraid. You know, I'm on the edge and shit. I, you know, I, I don't have nobody here. And these people that's here now, I don't give a fuck about. So I really don't want them saying nothing about me. I just, I don't want to be bothered with nothing, guys. I got to handle RBT in a mature way. And what do you do? We got to handle it in a mature way. You have to pay attention to shit, you know? To pay attention to the audience, what's going on around the world. And that's why we based our content on that, you know? Like, this weekend is the um, VMAs this weekend. So I know I'm going to have trouble... I might have a little difficult time. Well, in a way, I don't know. See what I'm saying? If I post something on Sunday with the VMAs coming on, it might be some kind of a certain type of way and shit. You know what I'm saying? But still, I'm still a network. But I don't want, you know, I don't want to step on nobody's toes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Not that I give a fuck being a network. I really don't give a fuck about it. But I'm trying to stay out of the spotlight, guys. I don't want to be in the spotlight, so I'm being careful. And y'all got to understand that. I'm not going to be in no damn spotlight. I don't want nobody to. I don't want that shit. I'm a cult leader. I'm a spiritual person. I don't want it. Yeah. What's that? What? Mm -hmm. that's a good one. That's good, huh? So, that's my excuse anyway. That's my excuse. I know everybody's wanting attention and doing different things. And I, I'm not pulling. Y'all guys know I don't pull no stunts around RVT. I ain't got time to pull no stunts. Y'all come here for entertainment, Rashi Entertainment. I give you Rashi Entertainment. And y'all go about your business. This is a cult. We Well, we are cult around here. And y'all know I treat y'all different. I, I want to treat y'all like a Rashi group. I don't, I don't want to treat y'all like just people coming over listening to Rashi. I want to treat y'all like y'all understand where the fuck I'm coming from. And in, that way, and in that way, I can really open up to you guys, you know. I can really express myself. And that's how I'm treating you guys. So when I don't come on for a while, I want y'all to understand. Oh, Rashid doing that because this and this and this. Oh, Rashid doing that, yeah, because this and this and this and shit. I'm, I'm trying to get y'all like that 
Cause, Cause we, you know, they don't give a fuck about us, man. So understand why I do what I do, you know. And I'm never trying to be a smart ass. I'm trying to, you know. If I'm tired, I tell you I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. That's why I've been on the air. I'm fucking tired. And part and, and that's part of the reason. That's part of it. I don't like that's part of it. I don't even fuck with these other YouTubers. And it's a message to these YouTubers out here. I have a message. For these YouTubers. Because I, I, I was going to address this. But I think I'll, I'll address it now. When. When y'all insult me on y'all videos. Or try to make fun of me. Why would y'all, I, I got a question. Why would y'all think I would go back and look at y'all video? I don't understand that. Now listen, if you're a new person, like these two girls I addressed earlier today, earlier just now, they're new. They just getting hit to Rashid. So, y'all ain't talking about that situation. So I still watch this shit, even though we went through a little something, whatever. I'm talking about you YouTubers who do shit and I find out about it and it's like, okay, Rashid know about it. Why won't, why, what makes you think I will go back and watch your next video? That's what I'm, I'm trying to, every video you do is all this shit I know is gearing towards me, but you waste, I'm not watching it. So I hope these people that's viewing you, enjoying you. I don't know, making fun of me or whatever, or whatever. So I hope they enjoy it, because I'm not watching it. I don't need to watch it no more. Some, one YouTuber, I was like, I'm going to give you a chance and see what you're about. I already found out what you're about. I ain't going back and watching your shit. Why bother? I already know what you're about. So you're wasting your time. I'm not watching that. And the thing about it is, if you really was bad about what you mean and what you say or whatever, ain't nobody saying my name. So what is that yield? So you ain't so tough. You ain't so bad. You ain't so this. So just remember that when you're doing your videos. And the reason why I'm addressing you this way, because I want you to move on with other shit the way you was before Rashid got here in your life or whatever. I want you to go back to that. Go back to before Rashid came. Because you're wasting, I'm not watching that shit. I see your thumbnails and all, but that's going to die out as long as I leave, stop clicking on you. That's going to stop coming on my uh, recommended um, shit. It's going to stop showing up. You know? So, won't you just go away? Go do this, because I ain't going back there. It's over. You made fun of me. You made a fool of me. I ain't going back there. you wasting your time. You waste your time. And nobody's saying my name. I don't see my name nowhere and nobody's title or nothing. So you ain't so bad. Just remember that next time you're trying to make a video or focusing on me. You're not so bad. You ain't saying my name. So that 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 lips that in the butt right there. So go ahead with your life and, and have fun. You and your people that watch you, y'all go have fun. You know, y'all have fun, dude. We don't want to play games. You know, we don't fuck around stupid shit around here like that. Go, I mean, I, I mean, I, I like the battle thing back and forth, but it's a way you do this shit. I can go with somebody back and forth, guys. Y'all know I can. Y'all know I can. But it's a it's a certain limit that when you cross that, you say, okay, that's going too far. That's going too far. This person is all out trying to really destroy me or make me look bad this person ain't just bickering this person just about total annihilation dude how the fuck you gonna get that bit on social media anyway you ain't going no fucking where i don't give a fuck if you did a night late night show or whatever you ain't go a party hbo web you're not going anywhere you're not going anywhere you're not going anywhere 
They don't want to deal with nobody from no damn social media. This motherfucker did um, telephone commercials everywhere, everything. Right on social media. He ain't going anywhere yet. He ain't going nowhere. So stop acting stupid, dude. YouTube is supposed to be sticking together, man. Sticking together much as possible. Sticking together much as possible because we all we got is shit. You know, nobody give a fuck about us, so we should be able to be sticking together. Instead, you got this stupid ass. That's what I'm talking about. If you can't see that, then I can't deal with you. I really can't fucking deal with you, dude. I really can't deal with you. YouTube is supposed to be sticking together, dude. And they got all this stupid ass shit going on. No, no, I'm not going to go back and forth with you like that because, because my audience don't want to see no shit like that. My, number one, my audience don't want to see no shit like that. Freaks don't give a fuck about that. Y'all pop culture. Y'all pop. You know what pop mean? Okay, that's who y'all guys are. We're not. So my audience don't give a fuck about what I say about you. That's number one. And number two, you ain't worth my time and effort. You got a degree in all the shit on some damn YouTube. So that wraps that up. I ain't got time for you. For y'all friendly YouTubers, y'all know what I ain't, I ain't talking. I'm not talking to y'all. And for goodness sake, those two girls, y'all know I ain't talking to y'all. Goodness sake. I know you know I ain't talking to y'all. It's that, you know. Because y'all y'all whip my ass on that last shit. And I ain't, you know, I want peace and, you know, fuck that shit. So, you know, peace and that's it. And we losers around here. They'll never accept us. And they'll never uh, acknowledge us. Never. And that's why we around here, we touch base about shit, and we hang out, and we do fun shit together, dude. We talk about, we just hang out, man, you know? I say no compete competition and shit like that. No, it's none of that. You got your family, you got people around you, nobody love us around here, dude. That's why we like this. That's why we're in the air fucking around like this. Nobody give a fuck about us. You got your mother to love you, you go here with your family. Nobody got time for your simple ass. It's good to be loved. Huh, guys out there who Rashid B's, y'all Rashid B's. Hey, it's good to be loved, huh? Yeah, all these motherfuckers. Good to be loved. Well, look, the holiday season coming up, so go go prepare for that shit. Holiday season right around the corner, dude. Get ready for the shit, dude. Get ready for your family and get the fuck out of here. Now... For my Rashid B's. I just want to dress some of these YouTubers. Because they going crazy thinking I'm watching their shit. They wasting their time. But I see their thumbnails and shit. And it's like they wasted. Dude, I'm not watching you. It ain't so bad. They ain't saying my fucking name. So nobody know what they talking about anyway. It's negative. But, it feel, but when you get somebody... And say y'all want to just bust on each other or rag on each other on uh, y'all videos. It's it's really fun to do because you got like a boxing partner, a sparring partner. But you keep it at a limit. You don't go overboard and shit. You know, you don't go and touch nerves and shit. Show some humanity in it. Show some um, some decency in this if that's what y'all, you know, that's what's happening. Show some respect in it. You know? Do things maturely. That's why they say people of color ain't got no fucking sense, dude. As soon as you got a little tan in your skin, you got to act fucking stupid. Swear to God, man. They say people with dark skin are crazy. Naturally. That's just why they say that shit. Got no fucking say. Don't you know how to do anything? Gotta be so fucking grit with every goddamn thing. Show some style and class with your shit. Acting like a fucking moron. That's how I don't deal with nobody. That's why I don't deal with nobody, dude. I'm, I just... We freaks around here and we leave it like that. We the unwanted, dude. Y'all know around here we are the unwanted... Unwanted. We're going to always be the fucking unwanted. Always be the unwanted. They ain't going to wake up one day and accept us, dude. They're not going to do it. Because we don't like Michael Jordan. We don't like this shit. 
We don't like that basketball sneaker bullshit. And that's why, and that's the reason why, and that's it. I know, I'm going to give me another taffy. I love fucking taffy, dude. How's it going? My baby's determined. They said, Daddy, you ain't gaining your weight back. Mm -mm. They put a bag of taffies. I'm going some sugar and some junk food. Go suck these taffies. <laughs> they ain't going to let me get my cakes, my cookies, none of that shit. I'm sucking taffy. And it's working, too. I like it. But I ain't got, that's what I'm saying, I ain't got taste for cakes or cookies anyway. I really don't. But it works, though. It helps. These taffies help. When you got a sugar, you're going to eat junk food. A bag of taffies, a bag of candy, hard candy. That shit help, man. We don't want to put on no weight, you know. It helps. It helps a lot. Kind of like chewing gum when you're trying to stop smoking. It helps, man. But it gotta be some good candy. It can't be nothing like, yeah, it can't be nothing like butterscotch. No, nah, don't. You wanna get candy in the bag? You gotta get some good shit like hard candy, different color, different flavors, cherry, lemon, or grape. You wanna get shit like that, hard candy, and that will help for me in junk food. But you don't go, well, don't go out there and get no peppermints or butterscotch. A, a bag full of peppermints. They ain't gonna do a fucking thing, dude. Anyway, shit. So, oh yeah, to those two girls on YouTube, keep saying that word. I'm a sick ass. Keep saying that word. I swear to God, <laughs> keep saying it. Damn, y'all look good when y'all say that word. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus. I'm a sick ass. Only y'all know about it. It's y'all secret. I swear to God. If anybody find out coming after y'all too, I swear to God. I'm a sick ass. Keep saying the word. Keep doing it. Please keep doing it. Please. Mm, I like that fucking last video y'all did. Man, I like that. I did, y'all. I mean, they, they just got to get to know what kind of person I am and shit. I, I don't mean no harm. I really don't. I really don't mean no harm, dude. I'm just a smart ass. But when it gets out of rages and shit, that's when I back the fuck off and go, okay, this person don't like me. You know, if I run into somebody that don't like me, I don't fuck with them at all. I really don't fuck with them at all. And a lot of YouTubers, I'm getting off joking with them. And they ain't joking. These YouTubers are not joking, dude. They dead serious about shit. They be like, get the fuck out. And I'm going like, to leave them alone. Then they come back and say, okay, Rashid. And they and I'm like, nah, I ain't fucking with you. Because I already know how you feel about me. You know, I can't. How am I going to go back? How am I going to go back and fuck with you, dude? How? I already know how you feel about me. And that's that girl. That's that girl. She, she out for blood. She out for fucking blood. I ain't fucking with her, dude. She a nut job. She crazy girl. I ain't fucking with her, dude. Don't fuck away. Go ahead with your money you making. You bro, she the rich, she rich and everything. Shit, go ahead with that shit. Bye. You on your own. Fuck that. I found out what you was about. That was it. I don't need to know shit else. Crazy, crazy Maisie. They call him Crazy Maisie. Crazy Maisie. And no, I will not be watching your videos if I do not like you. I will not be watching your videos. So don't look, don't. I will not be watching your videos. No, the answer is no. The answer is fuck no. Not just no, fuck no. I don't watch the, but people got mental issues. I'm the only fucking one with mental issues. Why am I watch this shit for? Y'all stop laughing because it's, you know. 
you gotta talk to people, put them in their places. You gotta really, you know, that's the kind of world we live in. They run right over you. I was just explaining to my kids, you know, you don't put people in their place, they run right over you, you know? They run right over you, dude. I don't know. I don't know. These two crazy girls might turn on me. They right. They might. I don't. But I don't care. I'm not saying their names. They not saying my name. So it's safe. It's pretty much safe. Nobody knows who we talking about. But it's a shame that people don't. People treat each other the way they treat each other on social media. It's just a shame. You know. You got no respect. You got no decency. You got no class. You got. It's a way to do shit. You know, it's a way to fucking do shit, though. If you're going to get a boxing partner, get a boxing partner with class and shit. You know, you don't just get no disrespectful ass month piece of shit. You don't get nobody like that. Because all they're going to be is trouble in the long run. Later on, they're going to be trouble. So you don't want to get nobody like that. That's what it's about. So... Ain't nobody real white around this motherfucker, dude. So stop acting like, you know, you ain't going no fucking where, dude. You the wrong color. You ain't going no fucking where. It's that simple. I ain't going no fucking where, dude. You the wrong motherfucking color. Hold on for a minute, guys. It's if you white, you, if you white, you're wrong. They ripping up his marriage, so ain't nobody gonna have no race. Ain't nobody gonna have no race before this is over. You like my new body, huh? Huh, baby? Like my new? Y'all staring at what you fucking looking at? They say I like that shit, but oh, that's good. I'm glad y'all like it, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, y'all! I don't want to know about that. My dick got bigger. I don't want to know about that. That's on y'all. Y'all deal with that. I ain't telling. This is good shit. Oh shit. This is the season for getting a bottle. Doesn't have to be big. Filling it up with water and putting it in your freezer. So you always have cold, crisp water to drink. It's hard to get cold, crisp water. But when you have a big family or living with somebody, they're going to go over there and drink it. They're going to start fighting. You can never keep really cold water in the house because somebody always drinking it the fuck up. But still, you give it a try anyway. Just write on it. I'll tell you what you do. Write on the bottom. 
I spit in this. And they won't drink it. <laughs> just but just say you spit in it. And they won't drink it. That's the way. Even if you didn't spit in it, just by spitting, they ain't going to touch it, dude. Because one thing about it's hard to keep cold water in the house, dude. It's so hard, man. It's so fucking hard. And nobody wants to fill up the damn bottle. Once it's empty, nobody wants to fill it up. They just put the empty bottle right back in the fucking... I know. I know all about it, man. So, you know, just remember that, guys. Just remember. Things I'm telling you. Please forgive me smacking in your ear. Please forgive that. Well, I don't care. Because they say you never eat on the air. And I'm going to find out why. That's why I'm doing it, I guess. I'm going to find out why. We on them hot though. Them hot pickles be bumping. I love Great Britain, dude. I do. I love the British. I love England too. I love. I love all UK. I like. I just. I like the way they are. The way they go about their shit. I like how everything they talk about is always historic. Like, like they all have a decent conversation with you. Then in the middle of it, somewhere along the line, it will be some history somewhere. That's just the way the UK people are. You can't get that kind of uh, talking with Americans. Americans don't talk like that. With somebody from UK, when you talk, somewhere along the line, you'll hear some kind of historic um, influential in the any in conversation. It's for some reason. And um, it makes the conversation... It, it just make me look at them di so different. Just 
Oh. It just made me, um, I just, I'm just, I just like smart people. I just like intelligent people. Even if I'm like, even if they outdo me in a conversation, it doesn't matter to me. As long as they're intelligent, I can really, they can understand everything I'm talking about. You know, some people just don't get it. You know, when you try to talk about things, they just don't fucking get it. And it can become really frustrating if you, with that person, you know? Sucks. I just like... I just like British. I just like British, um... Shit. I just like... I like the way they go about shit. How they real... But back in 1936, along the island of coastal Maine lived a, uh, uh, it was a house. They started talking about some shit, you know, like, even in, in a, um, animation and all. It's always something like castle with kings and queens and, I just like them. I just like them. They don't give a fuck about me much, most of them. I don't, they don't give a fuck about me. I mean, they do, but it's different. It's different, dude. It's just different. It's just fucking different. They do give a fuck about me. My best friend was UK. We're from the UK. And, um, I don't know how he got in America and all, but, well, I remember he told me, but I, back then I didn't really give a shit. I always made him buddies and shit. And they don't care much about him. Plus, I married a Japanese woman. Well, I did listen to the story how he got, how he, when he, how, why he came to America and all, but, I mean, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't base that on anything. And I marry a non-American. I'm just hip to UK and shit. Because they the ones that get me really than an American get me. American really going to get me. They, Americans will get Rashid. Then turn in here and go, yeah, but you're not white. Or they turn in here and say, yeah, but this and this and this. Well, UK people don't look at me like that. And I guess that's why I hit it off with them all the time. America, they know every fucking thing. I is either I want to be you, I can't be you, so I'm gonna hate you. That's America. It's a shame, but I can't be you, so I hate you, and that's in that bullshit. That's America. But I still love the country. The people, well, the people is different stories. Different, uh, I don't know. I don't know. That dude from America, I don't, Simon, and, um, and, um, uh, what's his name, um, Elton John, I don't think the people British like that don't like me. I don't expect they don't like me, but you know the basic guy will probably like you know anybody that think they got talent or think they smart ass can't stand my ass. They can't fucking stand me, dude. Ever since I was a child, they couldn't stand me, dude. But you know they got the talent, they got the money. I don't see the, all my argument is I don't see a problem. But I ain't gonna talk about that. I ain't gonna talk about that. Well, let's talk about Oh. 
so sick of that shit. I was gonna do something fun for this um this right here, but I decided not to. I just decided not to. I don't know. I've been I've been doing a lot of loafing. I'm not shitting you. I've been doing a lot a lot of loafing, man. I just um. I just don't feel like doing anything. I just. I ain't gonna say my self esteem is at an all time low, per se, but I, I just, I'm not feeling working right now. Nobody's doing anything. Nobody's, even in the movies genre, nobody's doing anything. I wonder, I'm, I may not be the only one, you know? I'm just not feeling shit. We just not feeling. I'd rather just, I'm doing stuff in a slow pace, you know what I mean? I have Generation Unrepented coming up. I have all these things coming up. And I'm doing things at a very slow pace. And I just find it better for me. If I work this way at a slow pace. I just feel like it's better for me. You know. Like I'm not going to fucking rush nothing. Try to be nice to people and shit, and they shit right on you, you know? So I go on the air and address you while she could tears. I hope y'all get what's going on. I hope y'all get what's going on, but y'all do. Y'all get what's going on. And if I'm not there, y'all gonna wait for me. Y'all always gonna wait for me. Y'all gonna sit and wait. See, Rashid, I'm gonna wait for you. Because y'all know I'm going, you know, I'm something happening, something going on. I'm going through some shit. And that fucking um, um, death right there took a toll, man. That took a real fucking toll. Jerry Lewis dead. And shit, that's crazy. That's, that's almost like Robin Williams did. That's some crazy ass shit. How the fuck you going to live some damn life knowing some damn Jerry Lewis dead? That's just fucking... Some deaths you just can't really grasp. You know what I mean? Some deaths you just in denial about. Like, how the fuck he gonna die and shit? I don't know. It's just... I don't know. It's just, it's just gets. I don't have nobody, nobody here. To, it, I mean, it's good to have role models and shit. You know, it feels good to know you're not here by yourself, and you know you have all right, examples. And all my examples, fucking dead. Now they got all these gorilla ass things. Nobody looking at they fucking jumping around ass. All they gonna do is jump around at that fucking award show on Sunday. That's all they gonna jump around. I don't jump around, dude. Can't you fucking understand that? I don't like jumping around. Even when I was a teenager, I don't. I didn't jump around. I don't like jumping around. I dance when I, in the eighties. You dance. You ain't jump. All this mucky ass fucking shit around me, dude. I don't fucking like it, man. I know, I know. I'm not even gonna. I, I swear to God, I'm not gonna. I just can't stand this generation, dude. All this jumping around bullshit. When I was coming up, we danced. We ain't jump around. Fucking monkeys do that. I don't like it, dude. In the 80s, you fucking dance. You ain't jump around. And I don't like looking at it around me and shit. I don't like it. Jumping around like a fucking monkey. I don't like it, dude. Putting your hands up in the air, jumping around. Dude, that's monkey behavior. You can't see that's primate behavior, dude. There's something the fuck wrong with you, man. 
I know they not Sadiqi and sweetie. I know, but at least I can speak my mind on the air. Raise your arms up in the air, jumping around. You can't see this. this what the? Man, let me be quiet, dude. Let me be quiet, man. I know they're not Sadiqi and sweetie. I'm just talking to them. Shit. I'm just talking to them, man. I don't put my arms up in there and jump around, dude. I just don't do it. Because it's, it's a primate. And when I was a child, we danced, dude. We had dancing when I was a child. When I was in the 80s, a teenager. going to, Even in my 20s, we danced, dude. We, we was dancers. We ain't, we ain't put our hands up, arms up in there and jump around, dude. We ain't doing what, what the fuck, man? I don't like looking at it. I don't like looking at it. And that's why I look at that shit. And that's the part of the reason why I only want to know what controversy going on today with emails and social. I don't want to know none of that. I don't give a fuck about it. Because it's jumping around bullshit. I don't give a fuck about it. Really don't care about it. I really don't care. I don't come around here expecting to hear no news about it and shit like that. Believe me, I know about it. But I, I just, I don't want to talk to, I mean it. I, I wouldn't know about it, but the, the controversy, but I don't want to discuss it. I meant to say I don't want to discuss it, but I don't want to know about it or whatever. I don't, I don't want to discuss it, man. I know about it, and I, yeah, we leave it like that, but I'm not going to discuss no shit like that because it's putting up the arms in the air, jumping around thing. I don't, I don't really appreciate people like that around me. I don't want people like that around me. You can say what you want. I don't like it around me. I, that's just the way Rashid is. I don't like the shit around me. Uh, I like people. All right, I like people behaving. You know, I don't like the arms thing and jumping around. I don't like the shit around me. I just don't like it. That's just the. I don't give a fuck how you take it. I don't care. I don't like it around me. Don't like it around me, dude. Y'all go to the bathroom? Y'all go to the bathroom? Let me let out. Come on. about it you around me you gonna act like a person or you're not gonna be around me and that's how i was talking trusting these youtubers i'm thinking they decent and shit and they just shit they straight primate dude i don't need that fucking shit man i don't need it you could be cool and everything but still be a person dude it is some such thing as that you know you act like a fucking gorilla i don't want nothing to do with you I ain't got nothing against nobody acting fly and cool, but you acting like a straight ape, and I, I don't like it. I fucking don't play that. I don't like it. Yeah, you never really noticed that that this putting your arms up and jumping around that came from somewhere, dude. That's when I was a teenager. We ain't dance like that. We ain't talk, we ain't put our arms up and in, jump around. That's prime. That's gorilla shit. That's what apes do, dude. I ain't lying to you. I don't do. I don't like nobody like that around me. I just I make me. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Okay. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't give a fuck who like it, and I don't give a fuck. I it makes me feel uncomfortable. Putting your arms, one arm up in the air with three fingers sticking up, jumping up and down. Nah, that makes me feel uncomfortable. Then people don't act like that. And I'm not an old. He ain't got nothing to do with me born 47 and all. It ain't got nothing to do with that. It's just I don't like it around me. I don't like it around me. 
Something ain't human about that shit. I understand it feels good and all that, but I don't, I don't like it around me, dude. I don't like it around me. Jumping up and down and shit. Fuck that shit. I don't jump up and down. We're going to say a lot of shit. We ain't going to say it. Because we ain't going to say it. That's the fuck why. Well, mind our fucking business. Hmm. What time is it? Maybe we can get the fuck out of here. Do we talk enough? 15 more minutes? All right. No offense, y'all. I just, I, now I'm pissed off all over again and shit. I just don't like being around this shit, y'all. I don't know how y'all like this shit, this earth, this world like this. It's too primate for me. It's too gorilla. I just don't like this gorilla shit, man. I don't like this fucking shit. But if the majority rules and it's here, that means somebody somewhere like it. Somebody somewhere like this shit. So that's why it's here. And that's just, I just, guys, I just got to lay off of social media sometime, you know? I just can't fucking do it, dude. I can't do it. I can't do it. Can't do it. That's why I started my cult. That's why I started my own um, spiritual group. Cause we talk about other things. Then we're not from this era here. I don't like it. I don't like being around it. And I really don't give a fuck who who give a prove. I don't give a shit. I like people and shit. I like people. And that, they got a war show coming up this Sunday. Don't look for me to cover it because I'm not doing it. Because everybody going to be on the trampoline, jumping up and down, and come, go and watch this shit somewhere else. Don't come out here with that. That's end of that. I don't give a fuck on the network or not. I ain't covering no shit like that. So go watch that trampoline shit somewhere else. You ain't gonna be here. That's it. I don't like this world. And I'm doing what I wanna do up in it. And keep that gorilla shit the fuck out of here. That's it number. So I ain't got time for that shit. Well, what I'm trying to say is understand how I feel about shit. I already know how you feel about it because you're jumping up and down on trampoline and shit. And ain't nothing there but a floor. And I don't I don't party like that. That's not how I party, jumping up and down, dude. I just don't do it. That's a trait right there that Tadisis don't have. That's what I'm saying. That's a trait we don't have. We don't jump up and down like that. We dance and shit. We we do other things, but we don't jump up and down like that. Go fuck a cool. I'm from the street and everything, but but back in my day, they ain't jump up and down. It was too cool to jump up and down back in my day. Well. With that crowd, anyway, they're breakdancing motherfucking shit. They breakdance and pop and shit. They ain't jump up and down, dude. It's just, it's just a new thing now. I just don't, I don't like the way that looks there. That looks too much, that's too close to the primitive. Fuck the primate thing there. So that's what monkeys do. They jump up and down like that and, and put their hands up in the air. They do that shit. They do. And I don't do that. I don't, I don't like it around me. I don't like it around me. I just don't feel right when, when that shit, you know. Well, they break dance in my day. They had dances in my day. They break dance. They popped. 
they did all kind of shit, but they ain't jump up or down with it, with their arms sticking up. And that, that looks like, you know, if you take off your shirt, and, and some people, when they take off their shirt and raise their arms up in the air, you really can see, well, I'm just saying, it's some people today that if they took off their shirt and smiled and raised their arm up in the air, you can see something. Okay, you're not listening to I'm saying I understand what you're saying. But some people, they jumping up and down with their arms up in the air, smiling with their shirt off. It looks like some people, well, yeah, well, yeah, okay, yeah, like that. So I think she's don't do that. We don't like that. And and don't bring that, and you ain't going to see it around here. You know, when people smile, take off their shirt. Some people, you, you, oh, everybody doing it, but some people that's doing it, you look at them and say, hey. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't play that shit now. now I'm on now. Don't go too far with this. We should all love each other bullshit. Don't go too far with it now. And I don't give a fuck how you feel. I don't really don't care. It ain't funny either. This is my last fucking taffy. I swear to God, I'm sucking it like I'm sucking a dick right on the ear. And I'm so sorry, guys. But I like to suck things. That's how I'm telling that woman, bitch, be careful around me. She thinks she know me. And she don't know me. They got all these, um, fam I'm not for the family. Keep thinking that and you're going to get your feelings hurt. But I'm sucking this taffy like I'm sucking a dick. Like I'm a prostitute. But guess what? This motherfucker good as a goddamn. This thing is good. But it's really good. It's really good, man. So, that's all I got to talk about. I came on the air just to fill our ears up with something. Rashid is okay. I just don't want to, I don't got nothing to say right now because I'm upset over the death of Jerry. I don't have anybody here but this gorilla shit now. And I really, really am not feeling this gorilla shit. I'm really not feeling this. I don't like where it's going at. They fucking up white people's uh, culture. And I don't, and I don't like this shit. I don't like this man. I don't know what kind of shit is this here great happen up in this motherfucker, but I, I'm telling y'all, I don't like it. So I'm not feeling nothing, and that's why we haven't been on the air, cause we just not feeling it. I don't know what kind of shit this is. We're not feeling it, and that's where I've been at. That's where I've been at. I don't like the fact that I don't have nobody here, and they ripping up white people's shit. And I'm stuck here with all this primate bullshit. I don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't like what's going on now, people. I just don't like it. So I'm not feeling shit. You know? It would be good to know about stuff in like the Indian community and stuff. But they don't talk to me. They don't let me know anything. If I go to an Indian community, they just have these bitch ass shit up these nursery rhymes and shit. Land, this is the land of this. Every now and then they get political. Then they go back to oh, the beautiful day, da 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 da, da all this fantasy bullshit. And I could dig that. They come on social media, get away from all the problems. Not that I want to talk about Indian news, but I'm saying as far as Jewish news, as far as Arabian news, and, and, and whoever else is listening to me right now, Muslim, nobody feeling me and what's going on. So I'm stuck with American shit, you know? And um, I'm just not feeling it, dude. If I had a choice... I talk about Sadiqsi and stuff all the time. 
But then y'all guys that get lost in the sauce. Yeah, they won't know a fucking thing I'm talking about, man. Well, most of my stuff is Sadiq saying flavored. Because it's looking at life the way we look at life. We don't look at life the way the average person, the average Joe look at life. Um, I'm glad you guys here to hang out with me. I'm always be here for y'all. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna always be here for y'all, dude. Cause they don't give a fuck about us and. When y'all don't see me, just know Rashid will be here. Y'all know I will be here, dude. So, it's just I'm not feeling nothing right now. You know, after Jerry left, and it's like, well, now we got this pop culture thing going on, and people got to talk about stuff in these news on social media and all so they talking about this stuff and it's like I don't feel sorry for them it's just I don't know how they do it I don't know I don't know I don't, I don't know I, I can't I can't it's stupid it's dumb shit it's d it's dumb stuff man I think America is under attack. I just don't trust that child's social media shit shutting down the way it did. Now one of those reindeer women about to take over Kelly Ripper's job. If that's Kelly in the morning, Brian Seacrest. Now one of the reindeer women about to take over that car dance, the car dance. Uh, she about to take over white woman's job. And the, and this child Swift account show it all looks shady. It looks something wrong with that. Something wrong with all that shit. I don't know what it mean. I don't know, but that's why we mind our business. Now here comes this car dance. This girl taking over a white woman's job with Brian Seacrest. He she's gonna host it with him. And over here, her accounts all her accounts shut down. I don't know, maybe it's a publicity stunt, this swift tail of a woman, girl. It's a stunt for whatever, it's none of my business and all. Let me clarify that, it's none of my business, let me clarify that. But all of it just looks the bullshit, now here come the war show on Sunday. No, I'm staying away from all that shit, because I don't know what it is, and I don't trust none of it. I don't trust none of it, and just... Now she taking now here she go taking over a job a white woman's job, at the same time her shit shut down, and she great going for a stage on the, this Sunday. And I just don't try. I don't like. I don't, I don't stick with. I don't stick. I don't, I don't fuck around with that. Dude. I just don't do it. Something just weird about the whole thing. Something just weird about the whole thing. Oh, well, maybe it don't got nothing to do with it, you know, nothing, but it just looks crazy. It just looks, it looks connectable some way. So I just don't want to, I just don't want to deal with it. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here, so. Mm -hmm. Let me get out of here and download this. It was nice talking to you guys about the most stupidest shit. I, well, it's not stupid shit, but 
we want some entertainment. We want to, you know, but, but we, we, I'm talking about stuff that matters. Now, kids are about to go back to school soon. And it's not that I, wanna, I don't want to broadcast it around social media. It's just that I don't want to ruin kids' summer. Because as soon as they hear their favorite person say, okay, it's almost time I'm back to school, I don't want to throw one in their face like that. Because I know how they feel. They, he, I mean, they going through so much with these fucking monkeys in this damn school system. And I don't want it to hear the, for it to come from Rashid. Okay, y'all, it's almost time to go back to school. I, no, I don't give a fuck about school. I don't give a fuck about it. I want the kids to hear it from another source. And I'll play back to school ads. Right, when RBT show, we'll play back to school ads that way. I ain't going to sit here and make children feel upset. I'm just not going to do it. I, I'm just not going to do it, dude. I'm not going to do it. It's turning into a fucking institution. Ain't no school shit the fuck in it. But, you know, that's something that, that's here now. And we got to deal with it. And I, I don't want it to hear it coming out my voice. It's almost time for practice. So I don't want that shit. Fuck that. Let's finish enjoying the summertime. And when, and that shit, get the fuck out of here with that until the doors open the fuck up. And that's it. Stop acting stupid with that back to school bullshit. Everybody know it already. Stop acting stupid. Now, thanks for tuning in for Rashid's I'm Talking. I might do this again tomorrow. Now y'all know what happened. Now y'all know what's going to be. And Rashid putting y'all down with shit. And I'll talk to y'all later. Take care, all right? Take care.